Hey everybody, welcome back to Jamia's promo and today is October 5th and Samsung just pushed off the latest software update today. For anybody that is on the Samsung One UI 4.0 beta program, now this one is the update or version two of Samsung One UI 4.0. And right here it states what is new. And so you do have to go into your settings to manually look for an over the air update. Now this one is fairly large and it also comes with the October 1st patch. So this one's at four or uh, okay. October 1st patch. So this one's at 949 megabytes and it ends in the version ZUJ1. So not only does it state it right here, uh, but you'd also be able to take a look inside of your Samsung members application, which Samsung members, this is where you go to to sign up for the Samsung One UI program. And underneath those little notices on the top right hand side, you can see here, second beta software update, October 5th. And it just shows you where you can find the update. Here is the software version. So basically some of the things that they have have fixed is applying color theme. So I don't know for sure where this you know applies to, uh, but it looks like that there was bugs somewhere for color themes. Adding mic mode to phone calls or video calls. So it looks like there's uh, different types of mic modes called standard, voice emphasis, and all sounds. And that is during video call. Apply RAM plus. So this is a virtual RAM. Now, before we update this, I'm going to take a look and show you where it's not sitting there now. So you can take a look at where it is sitting after the update. Improved typing accuracy of Samsung keyboard. I do have to suggest this was something or state that this is something that did bother my phone here was sometimes I was typing and it just wouldn't come off correctly. Fixed an issue that secure folder was closed when running. Other people started messaging and, and writing comments in some of my other videos that secure folder was not working for them. For me, it worked perfectly fine. Performance improvement. Now, because it says apply other many improvements, that is why I always shoot these videos. I always like to take a look at other applications to see what is also new with these updates. So we'll be taking a look at the, the Samsung Home, Samsung Camera, the fingerprint reader, face recognition, Samsung Internet, Samsung Messages, and phone as well, just to see if there's newer versions with those. So really, we're going to be taking a look at more than what is just stated right here. Now, before we update it, let's, let's look really fast. Heading over inside of the settings, we're going to go down over inside of the battery and device care. And actually, this is one of those things that is new with it. So instead of uh, how it was set up from before, it's actually going to show you little emojis on if it's good or bad. And so you can go through here, you can sleep some applications, you can fix some issues. But if you go inside of memory, there should be something inside of here that is called virtual memory. And it is actually a part of a couple other devices lately. So like the Galaxy Z Fold 3 has this. So if you take a look inside of your memory screen, you're going to notice an area that is called virtual RAM. So let's go through, let's update this, and let's take a look at also what is new beyond what is, you know, stated right here. Now, I also like to state usually at this point in the video that if you're brand new here at the channel Jimmy is promo, you appreciate these tips and tricks and tutorials or the latest information on Samsung's latest updates on their Samsung phone, make sure to hit that subscribe button as well as the bell for notifications so you get notified for all future videos. And if you have questions, comments, write them below. Also give it a big thumbs up because it helps the YouTube algorithm push this video to more and more people. Oh, and I also read somewhere that the animations has also been improved as well. So what I did do was I made sure all of my animation settings were all put back to default uh, as if the phone was out of the box. So this way we can take a look at some of the animations going from application to application just to see if there was some improvements there as well. So the update is done and complete. So let's just kind of take a quick look over at animations. And so I'd have to state that for me, I mean, normally I have all of my animations down at you know 0.5 which is half a second instead of this full second to go down i'm really not a huge fan of you know waiting for things to pop on up and so this is what it looks like when it comes down to some of the animations so if you guys are someone who who uses uh you know that full 1x animation scale does this look any different to you uh is this something that you guys like is it something that you guys don't like for me uh it, i didn't really see a big difference i played with the 1x just a little bit before for this video just to see if I can find a difference. Now we're going to head over inside of the battery and device care so we can take a look at that that uh, virtual RAM or the RAM plus that they were talking about. So inside of memory, you can see here that there is a, a another category, another line that is reserved, uh, you know, talking about the RAM plus sitting right here. So it shows that 5.7 gigs is used out of my 12 gigabytes. Uh, reserved is 1.9 for RAM plus, AKA virtual memory is four gig. If you take a look up over here, RAM plus, your internal storage can be used as virtual memory 
to improve app performance. So that's actually pretty cool. So the internal storage, the internal memory that you have on your phone could actually be used for virtual memory to help app performance. So basically your internal storage is working as RAM which is pretty cool. Uh, RAM plus virtual memory, four gigs. Again, it's supposed to help your phone uh, work a little bit quicker, especially if you're going between application to application, and maybe it could help some of the, the animations as well, since that's kind of a part of it, going between opening and shutting applications. So now that we've played with some of those, now we're gonna take a look at more applications, more services to see if they've been updated with this update as well. So the first one we'll take a look at is going to be Samsung Home. Now, before the update, this version was 13.00079. This one's 13.00087. Again, to probably play with some, some of those animations to make them a little bit more smooth. Now, in terms of the camera, we're going to head inside. And the camera was 12.00046. This one's 12... Whoops. <laughs> this one was uh, 12.00061. So it looks like there is a newer version of camera sitting right here. Uh, and we can take a look inside of it if we want to, just to see if there's any little yellow dots or orange notifications letting us know if there's something that has been updated or changed. But it could just be simply, you know, just a brand new version. They don't always have to make changes with some of these updates as well. Uh, so maybe there could have been something with AR Doodle, even though I never use AR Doodle. So that could have been a very, very old dot. Now we're going to take a look over inside of biometrics, so the fingerprint and the face recognition. So what you're going to want to do is scroll down. You're going to head inside of biometrics and security, uh, more biometric settings, biometric security patch. Now the fingerprint reader was 5103. This one's 5103, so no newer version. And the face recognition was 2112, so no newer version for uh, any of the biometrics. Then if anybody uses the Samsung internet, now we're gonna take a look at the newer version if there is one here, which is 16.015. This one's 16.0142. So it looks like a newer version or updated version, maybe some security behind everything with a newer version of the Samsung internet. Now we're gonna take a look at Samsung messages. Now I'm more of a user of the Google messages. Uh, so for this one, the version beforehand was 13.00063. This one's 13.00074. So looks like a newer version, uh, updated version of Samsung messages as well, at least for the security patch on top of it. Then taking a look over at the phone, uh, we're gonna go inside of the, the settings here. This one was 13.00048. This one's 13.00058. So it looks like a newer version there. Now for some of the stuff that it was talking about, with this update. And if you ever want to know what you've done for your, your software updates, just go to software update and then you click on your last update and it's going to read it out for you or just show it off. So for video calls, if you, if you do any type of video calls, there is a newer mic modes inside of there. So standard voice emphasis and all sounds. So if you're doing video chats, things like that through the video call section inside of the phone, uh, you can have it, you know, emphasize on the voice itself. So if you want it to be voice heavy, uh, maybe you have a softer voice, you want it to be louder or or maybe there's a few sounds around you that you're trying to also cancel out, then you can probably use voice emphasis and it could probably do a very well job. Unless if the mic mode is coming from them, but I'm pretty sure it's what's going out because it's talking about the mic. And then if you want to have all of the sounds around you, then you can have that. And it's probably trying to bring up something uh, more sensitive microphone for everything all around you, not only just focusing on voice, and so that's actually also pretty cool too. Now you can also take a look at secure folder. I opened a secure folder just a second ago, uh, just to make sure that it did work on mine. And so if we go inside of secure folder, uh, then we'd be able to take a look that, uh, that it was not crashing. You can see that it actually still opened it right here and it didn't uh, go through the locking portion of it because I have the auto lock to come on uh, after I close the application. Now, one thing that I noticed that has always gone wrong and, and really weird is my background image. So. Anytime, or actually most of the times that I was using my phone, it seemed like that my background image would just go very, very distant. It would be super blurred. It would be to a point where you wouldn't even know what the image is on the back. But now it seems like they have kind of fixed it because you know it would it would happen multiple times. Almost any time that I would unlock my phone, that background image in the back would would be faded out and super blurred, and you wouldn't even be able to make out what is back there. So that could also be one of the things that was fixed inside of the Galaxy Home or the Samsung Home uh, application. So this way it can be looking good in the background. So if you have a personal picture in the background, then it wouldn't be faded out and blurred out. So it looks like, uh, they're making a little bit of adjustments, a little bit of tweaks when it comes down to version two. So I don't know how many versions will be pushed out 
inside of this beta program, maybe a good four, five, or six, and then it'll be launched to the entire public. But that is it for today's video. If you guys appreciated this video, just take a look at this little update. If you are on Samsung One UI 4.0 beta program, you might have noticed that there was an update pushed out today, October 5th. Uh, take a look at it. If you haven't done it yet, or if you didn't know about it, maybe you learned it in this video today. Give this thing a big thumbs up. And also don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe on the very bottom left-hand side right over here. And if you like this video, the more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.